Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a first look at the brand new Adobe Premiere Pro CC, the Creative Cloud version, which is scheduled to ship a little bit later this month. This really isn't a training, it's more of a guided tour to show you some of the new features that Adobe's been working on. We'll have a lot more to say in coming weeks after the product itself ships. There's so much to talk about and so much to show. Can't wait to get started, so let's take a look. This is more of a guided tour than a training. Adobe is scheduled to release this version on June 17th. And uh, what I want to cover today is uh, go through some of the operating system requirements, a couple of the things that I can talk about but can't show, overview the new interface, talk about ingest linking and relinking, editing and trimming enhancements and effects and monitoring and, oh gosh, I've got like 17 pages of notes, as much other stuff as we can get covered in the time we've got together today. Adobe have made improvements throughout the entire application, starting with preferences, going to ingest with better Prelude integration, a revised media browser, better AIF and XML import, story and metadata integration, editing, including trimming and multicam support, improved linking and relinking of clips, monitoring closed captions you can now do inside the CC version, uh, improved audio, including a, a really nice audio uh, loudness meter, and uh, some very, very nice shortcuts for effects. Let's shift over to effects. See this badge right here? When you click it, it says, do you want to change the motion settings, opacity settings, or time remapping settings? Let's just say, hypothetically, I want to change the motion settings for rotation, because it's really obvious. I'm going to make this bigger by putting my playhead in the header and just scroll wheeling. See this white line? This now gives me rotation control in the timeline. Is that not cool? And rather than have to select the clip and go up to the effects controls and go down to what you need, wrong. Just click the badge, select the setting you want to adjust, rotation, and grab it and drag it, and you can change the rotation of that clip. To reset it, I'm going to go back to the effects setting and just click our reset button, which is this curved hooky arrow thing. We'll go back to where we were. That's really nice. Every clip has an effects badge on it. Not just video effects, but notice down here we've got audio effects and audio filters as well. Let's just apply, um, let's do a 50% scale here, and let's do opacity of, say, 50%. I'm picking something obvious. Go up to the Edit menu, copy your clips, go to the New menu, go up to Edit, Paste, attributes. Ta-da! You don't have to paste all the effects. You say, I just want to paste motion. I don't want to paste opacity. I don't have any audio I care to, to add. I can select what I want. I can select individual features. Click OK. It pasted the scaling. It did not paste the opacity. Again, to reset a clip, go up to the effects controls, click the hooky arrow, and we're back to where we left off. Oh, there is a keyboard shortcut for that. Notice that copy, obviously, command C, paste attributes, option, command V. Why option, command V? Because command V is paste. Option gives you the options to decide what to paste. <laughs> That's the little things just make me giggle. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. This gives you access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 102. Thanks.